Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. Today, we have a Ryzen 5000 XT update, Nvidia announced a new-ish lineup of GPUs, shortages ending soon, Intel's first desktop GPU goes on sale, and an RTX 3090 Ti? Okay, it's news time and first up for today, there's been a report going around about a new B2 stepping for AMD's Ryzen 5000 CPUs. And those are based on a tweet from Patrick Schur, who's definitely been a very accurate leaker. Now, most outlets assume this was for AMD's rumored Ryzen 5000 refresh. And there's nothing against those outlets as I assumed the same thing when I saw it. Regardless, AMD has since addressed this to Benchmark.pl, which was the original outlet to report it. And according to AMD, they are in fact moving to a new B2 revision of the Ryzen 5000 CPUs. But it's specifically to expand their manufacturing and doesn't include any improvements to functionality or performance. Meaning these are not next-gen CPUs, XT variants, or anything like that. AMD even made it clear that they won't require a new BIOS update, so these are very much the same Ryzen 5000 CPUs. Of course, that makes me wonder how AMD plans to respond to Intel's upcoming Alder Lake CPUs. And with Intel's newest 10 nanometer parts coming soon, make sure to get your 14 nanometer plus 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 infinity mugs before they're gone. That's right, keep your coffee hot for hours, though not as hot as Intel keeps their CPUs. And now with the new enamel mug, you can show off without fear of breaking it like Intel broke the hearts of gamers everywhere with 11th gen. Get your mug before Intel finally goes 10 nanometers at store.gamermeld.com. Next up for today, Nvidia has officially announced a new-ish lineup of GPUs. Specifically, new variants of the RTX 3080, 3070, and 3060 Ti with a new hash rate limiter, which means the earlier rumors were correct. Not only that, but the cards are actually going to be identified with light hash rate or LHR, which I think is really important, and it shows just how serious Nvidia is this time. Now, you may have noticed that they didn't mention the RTX 3090, but if you remember when these cards were rumored, the 3090 wasn't getting it because they claimed it's already at a price that more or less makes it not worth it. Of course, if you check eBay, it becomes pretty clear that isn't the case. But still, I'd suggest buying the other cards anyway. The 3090 was always ridiculously priced. Whether Nvidia will inadvertently release a driver that overrides most of the limiter is still up in the air. Either way, the new cards will be shipping at the end of May, which means gamers should actually get a chance to buy one soon. So definitely make sure to subscribe and join the GamerMail Discord server to stay up to date on those releases as they unfold. And speaking of being able to buy a new GPU, if you keep up with the crypto market, you know that just recently all of the main crypto coins have plummeted. At one point, Bitcoin tumbled below 30000 And for context, at its high, Bitcoin was worth over $60,000. So we're talking less than half. And you can see tons of outlets are talking about it. Of course, what caused this is still up in the air. From comments by Elon Musk to China cracking down on crypto. But whatever it is, this could have a real impact on GPU stock. And before you comment, I know what you're thinking. Scalpers. But there's two things that would still make prices fall. For one, prices are only so high because miners were able to buy GPUs as an investment rather than something to game on, so they were willing to spend more. Remember that scalpers can only price things where people are willing to pay, reducing the competition and willingness to pay sky-high prices, and they will fall. The second reason is the influx in stock. If prices continue to fall, miners would begin selling their GPUs, so stock would go through the roof, and there's no way scalpers could keep prices all that high. Now, with all of that said, the price of crypto has rebounded a bit, but that happened the first time it tumbled just recently, yet it still fell again. The simple fact is that this could spell another major crash, so don't give up hope for buying a GPU. Time, as always, will tell. Next up, Intel's first XE discrete GPU has officially gone on sale via a new CyberPower PC. As you can see, the specs actually list the i5-11400F, which is Intel's CPU that doesn't include an integrated GPU. And then the GPU is an Intel part, which means this is the first discrete desktop gaming GPU from Intel that's gone on sale. Of course, it's just a DG1 part, so it only has 80 EUs, but it's definitely a huge moment. Hopefully, Intel can become a true competitor with their DG2 GPUs. 
And lastly for today, it looks like Nvidia could be releasing a new GPU that dwarfs the RTX 3090. The story originally comes from Japanese PC Mania via video cards, who discovered the new GPU in Zotac's Firestorm overclocking utility. And as you can see, it lists an RTX 3090 Ti. That's right, yet another Ti model, to which it also lists the RTX 3070 Ti and 3080 Ti. Unfortunately, it doesn't list any specs, but rumors are suggesting that it could feature the same full fat GPU in Nvidia's Quadro A6000, which would mean a couple under more cores and potentially 48 gigabytes of VRAM. Now, with that said, Igor's lab seems to think this was some joke by the developers because none of their contacts have heard about this GPU. But of course, they may not be allowed to say. I don't know. Normally, I would think this is absurd to sell to the gaming market, but hold on. Right now, the RTX 3090 is already selling for more than three grand, but Nvidia would get a ton of flack if they sold the 3090 for that themselves. Instead, they could release this for thousands of dollars and using this new SKU to justify the price, knowing it would just be miners who buy it. But they could keep talking about their hash rate limiter on lower end models. I mean, they already aren't including it in the 3090. So they could try to keep the lower end models for gamers, yet still make a ton from miners at the same time. Basically, it makes sense, but still take this with a bit of salt. So while that does it for today, what do you think about a potential RTX 3090 Ti? And are you excited to finally see a new competitor to the GPU market? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please subscribe. And as always, have a great day.